Crystals are very important, and how we make crystals is equally important as we need them for their applications in pharmaceutics and optics. One challenge with crystals is making sure that they all are the same size as it will affect their performance. This may seem simple, but actually requires a bit of engineering. But before I get ahead of myself, let me describe how crystals form. Crystallization is the process in which molecules arrange themselves into nice uniform shapes or planes. It starts with nucleation, followed by growth, formation of crystal faces, and with a little time, you finally have a mature crystal. Scientists can initiate this process in a number of ways, like lowering the temperature or evaporating the solvent. These examples all follow primary nucleation, which is a stochastic or random process. This means that rather than crystals forming at the same time, crystals randomly form at a bunch of different time points, leading to many crystals at many different sizes. Like I said before, the goal is not to have a broad distribution of crystal sizes, but rather a narrow distribution in size. To obtain this, we need to break down primary nucleation even further. The first type of primary nucleation is homogeneous nucleation, and the second is heterogeneous nucleation. The difference between these two types is that heterogeneous nucleation occurs in the presence of a surface. This can be on the rough surface of the reactor or on debris such as dust. When comparing the energy required to cause a nucleation event, homogeneous nucleation has a much higher energy than heterogeneous. This means that heterogeneous nucleation occurs much faster. This simple principle is how scientists can control crystallization, leading to many crystals of the same size. In bulk crystallization, both homogeneous and heterogeneous nucleation can occur, and nucleation occurs at many time points. We can instead crystallize in really small drops, removing the probability of heterogeneous nucleation through the removal of a rigid surface and any debris. With only homogeneous nucleation, nucleation events are so slow that each drop only contains a couple of crystals, leading to a uniform size distribution. This technique of crystallization in drops has now been widely used by scientists, and new approaches are constantly being explored to better control crystal growth in drops.